All right, fam, gather around for some bureaucratic musical chairs. In 1929, Japan decided to spice things up and had the island governor report to the snazzy Ministry of Colonial Affairs. By 1932, they rolled out the South Seas government, which was all civilian all the time. Fast forward to 1942, and this ministry got a rebrand as the Ministry of Greater East Asia. They squished the six districts into a much simpler three of North, East, and West. As I'm sure a lot of us with grandparents or great-grandparents who were brought up under Japanese rule have heard, the indigenous populations in the Japanese-administered territories were now dealing with some heavy-handed assimilation BS, with Japan essentially replacing local culture with new, air quotes, improved Japanese versions. And it was pretty clear that Japan did not take their new dominion over Micronesia lightly at all. So the Japanese occupation, particularly in Palau, was an interesting time, There's what they did to try to wipe out the culture, like bans on traditional tattoos. And if you've ever seen me, you already know how I feel about Palau and tattoos. But then there's also the whole economic exploitation part we'll get into in our next episode. (music) 